the hell are you doing? Look ready to go somewhere. Special plans tonight? Nah, I just needed some ice. You don't mind if I get a few candid snapshots for the photo album? No. I'm good. <clears throat> Do you always carry a camera when you're going to pick up ice? Only on Fridays. <laughs> Okay, say, uh, 21C. 21C. Is Kobe here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. doing dressed like Princess Diana? This whole thing, girls, my laundry outfit. Mm, nice. These are Kobe's. Thank you. Hey, let me, let me get a picture of you guys. So, say 21C. 21C. <laughs> Ready? Sure. Um, where are you two lovebirds going? Dinner. Maybe some dancing. Mind if I get the address to the restaurant? You know, just in case of an emergency. Please don't answer him. No, um, I understand. Your sister's in good hands. I give you my word. <laughs> Let's do this. OK. Wait, just one more shot. Put these in water, please. All right. You two have a good time. <laughs> Y'all don't stay out too late now, OK? Okay. Forgive them, for they are strange. No, it was, yeah, it was pretty strange. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going? Secret. Oh, we're being secretive now. Come on, I know it's going to be some trendy Hollywood hotspot. I'm not telling. This is nice. I'm surprised. I thought. I know. I'm not into that whole Hollywood scene. It's too fake. I hear about you going to all those premieres with models. I, that's part of the game. I, mean, I don't like it, but I have to do it. It's just, it's, it's a job. OK, I liked it a little bit at first. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets boring in a hurry. I mean, this is more my scene. Here I get to be sterling and not silver. So how long have you been a teacher? Four years. Four years. I love teaching. It, it makes me happy seeing young minds opening up to poetry for the first time. Oh, speaking of poetry, I have something for you. Close your eyes. <laughs> you can look. I love Langston Hughes. Really? Yeah. Well, open it up. This can't be true. Yeah, autographed by the man himself. My aunt owns a bookstore. And... <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you. So you really do love poetry. I, I thought that was all an act. Oh, no, no, I love it. I love it. In fact, I, I dabble in it a bit myself. Can I hear one of your poems? I sort of write it for myself. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I don't, I don't feel comfortable reading it in front of people. It's, uh... Ever? Are you reading anything now? Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, recently I've been reading some essays, but my main man is James Baldwin. And I've been rereading uh, Notes of a Native Son. It's my, my favorite, <laughs> absolute favorite. What? That's my favorite Baldwin book as well. Really? <laughs> you hungry? Starving. Me too. How about it? <clears throat> See what you're saying is you don't like my movie. I can't say that officially because I haven't seen many of them. But I just don't like violent things, films, music, whatever. I just think it sets a bad tone for kids. It's make believe. 
So you're saying because it's fiction, it has no impact? Come on, Sterling. People complain about how violent my films are, right? And the, the negative images. But people don't want to see me in family films. Ed got me a PG-13 about three years ago. The only people who saw it were related to me. Hollywood will make whatever films people are willing to pay to see. Well, you've got to be bigger than that. If the first one fails, then you do a second and a third. You have such an impact with the youth. I think it's your duty to do everything you can to create positive images. Preach, sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. What's with this whole baby thing? I think I'm going to need another drink. Now, what were you thinking? You were going to have a baby with a stranger? You're creating a dysfunctional family startup kid. It's just a publicity thing. Ed thought it would be good for my image. I'm not going to actually sleep with any of these women. So whatever Ed says you do, no matter how stupid? If it wasn't for Ed, I probably wouldn't even be alive. He got me up the streets when I was a teenager. He, he saw I had talent. He invested in me. He believed in me. But nobody else did, not even my own family. So I take what he says very seriously. Oh, that's great. I'm happy for you. But don't you think you're old enough to be making your own decisions? The whole premise is based pretty much on my need to belong or to have something that belongs to me. All day long, people are asking me for things, uh, family, friends, you name it. But at the end of the day, I go home, and I'm alone. Oh, come on. You're a superstar. You can't be alone. Women love you. They're in love with the image of silver. They don't love Sterling Hamilton. So why not have a baby? Everybody needs some unconditional love, right? Having a child is definitely a special moment to be shared by two people who love each other. Not because of money or some deep need to have a lifelong buddy. Doctor, enough diagnosis <laughs> for one evening. Time for a little physical therapy. <laughs> Would you like to dance? Sure. The doctor's out for the evening. Ginger Rogers for a while. <laughs> 